hello everyone and welcome back so in today's video what we are going to be doing is solving the seventh problem of educational dp contest now today's problem is the first problem in which we will be dealing with graphs so you guys won't just learn dynamic programming concept but you will also learn how to approach graphs problem so what i'm planning to do is i'll solve the problem using normal graph methods or algorithms and then we'll move on optimizing the solution using dynamic programming so before we move on with this video i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so with that being said let's move on to today's problem so today's problem is longest part and let's read the problem statement so we have a directed graph G with n vertices and m edges and there are vertices number from 1 to n and there is an edge which goes from vertice SI to YI and the other important thing which we have to see that the graph does not contain any directed cycles so what we have to do here we have to find the longest directed path in graph so let's see the constraints first so n here represents the number of vertices and m represents the number of edge so if we try to do the problem in n cross m time complexity that will be 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 5 that will be 10 to the power 10 and i think all solution won't work so we have to come with something better and let's see the input so we have n and m where n represents number of vertices and m represents edges and the remaining li lines represents the vertice v1 and vertice v2 and the edge between them so let's see this graph so we have four vertices and five edges one two three four five and this line represents that we have edge from vertex 1 to vertex 2 so that's what it listed here let's see how we approach this problem so i have taken the same example from the problem itself and forget about dynamic programming for now and let's see what will be the first approach that will come to our mind so the first approach will be why not run the dfs for each voltage and then find the longest path for each voltage and then find the overall longest path so what i mean by this is if we run the dfs for let's say voltage one we'll have the longest path for voltage one and similarly we'll have the longest path for voltage two and once we have all the value and then from all these value will have some value which will be maximum and that will be the overall longest path so let's see what will be the time complexity of this for dfs of i the time complexity will be n plus m where n is number of vertices and m is number of edge and if we do it for all the vertices then it will be n into dfs of i that will be n into n plus m and finally this will be equal to n square which will be 10 to power 10 and the solution won't work but let's try to code this solution and see at least if we are getting the correct answer for some of the sample input or not and once we are getting the correct answer we'll go on optimizing the solution so let me just see how the input looks like so we have n m and number of vertices on the corresponding lines so let me just zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see and i'll take nnm so i have the value of nnm now I have to build a graph from vertice v1 to v2 so for that let me just have a graph and 
and Girav will have n voltage. So this will be done by something like this. And now we have to take all the vertices and build a graph. So for that, I'll just do this. So we have M edges and we have vertex 1 and vertex 2. And then we'll build a graph. So for voltage one, we have a edge till voltage two. And this is done by this. And uh, our indexes are starting from zero, but here the graphs label is start from one. So let me just decrease the value of v1 by one. and v2 as well so i build the graph i mean i have all the edges with the vertices now i have to run the dfs so we have to run dfs for all the vertices and for that let me just call the dfs and we'll make the DFS function after that, but before that, we'll have some result which will be zero. And we'll try to find the maximum value, which will be the maximum of the present result and what we found from this DFS or voltage i. And this will give me the overall longest path and if i print it it will give me the correct answer but before this i have to create a dfs function and this will have i and let me take a temp variable and for now what I have to do, I have to run the DFS for all the neighboring vertices of I. And all the neighboring vertices of I is there in G of I. And now I'll just try to find the longest path for that particular vertices. So that will be the so that will be done by something like this okay but now we have to take care of one thing we have to pass on the path so what i mean by this is from one to two the law the path length is one or similarly from one to four the path length is two so if I pass one here, then it will pass the length as one till here. I mean to the neighboring voltage two and from voltage two, the uh, passed on value will be one again. So one plus one will be two. So the overall path will length will be two. So that's what it done by DFS and V plus one. And once I have the answer, I can just return the value and I'll have the answer here at DFS of i and I'll compare with the previous answer. And then finally, we'll have the overall answer. But before that, since I'm using Recursion. So for that, I just have to set the recursion limit.
I think this should work. And let me just tell you what we are doing here. So here we are running the DFS for each world test. So finding So here we are finding the overall longest path and for this function we are finding the longest path for that particular voltage i. Let me just try to copy one sample input and see whether this works. Okay, so I have messed up something here. So this will be input map to int and similarly here as well. And now if I try to run it, it should work. Yeah, so I'm getting three for the first input. And let's see what I'm getting for the second sample input. Yeah, so for second also I'm getting correct answer. Let's try for sample input three. And the answer for that is three. And we are getting the correct answer. So this solution will give us timed out error because it has bad time complexity. And if I even try to run it, I should get timed out error. let's see so we are getting timed out error uh, that means we have to optimize all solutions so that part I'll cover in next video I hope you are enjoying my video and if you are then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video